did uh, take the direction of this magazine, which is the same as tomorrow. We try to uh, show all the positive initiatives that everyone is taking around the world, mainly in France. But uh, now when they see like uh, how much work uh, I did with my colleagues and with a lot of the people that, uh, that are dedicated to this uh, topic, they are uh, pretty amazed like wow this, this is like the future that we all have to be aware of and we have to do something about it. Uh, now I am uh, I'm a co-founder of uh, Institute for the Circular Economy in Slovakia. It's a very young NGO. We are for the two and something years on, on the market in Slovakia. But I co-founded with two of my colleagues that are environmental consultants and we have been operating in Slovakia for 14 years as consultants in waste management mostly and uh, in environmental impact assessment. We just saw in the documentary a small village in France in Alsace who is kind of the leader in France in uh, transitioning in ecology. Uh, in Case and Magazine, you published a series of articles about villages that are the leaders in uh, ecology transition. Can you give us more example than this village and how other villages are, what are they putting in place that can be different from this? I used to remember, but you didn't see in the movie, Rob Hopkins said that Ungersheim is number one city, transitional city around the world, according to him. They put in place so many things, even more than in Totnes. When you go to Totnes, where Rob Hopkins live, there is less, really less things that have been put together. Uh, we did in May last year, we went to visit with the 15 or 16 pages uh, article about what's happening in, not in cities, but in small area, like rural area.